NAA Mini Revolver in 22 Magnum. It also has the conversion cylinder for the 22 long rifle, which will also fire long and short. And I'm going to fire all the rounds that this can fire, with the exception of the um, specialty rounds like CB caps and stuff like that. I'm going to fire high velocity magnums, long rifles, longs, and shorts all through this gun and see what I get. First up, I have a Hornady VMAX 30 grain. Then I have a CCI Maxi Mag. 40 grain. CCI Velocitor is a hollow point. It's the only hollow point I have up here. CCI 40 grain mini mag. CCI 22 long high velocity. And then I have the 22 short high velocity. And I'm going to fire these all through water jugs and wood. Now what I did last time, this was a half inch piece of plywood and it went, everything went right through it. So what I've done now is I've upped the ante a little bit. Now I have two half inch pieces of plywood. The back is black to contrast any exit holes I get. The front is white to make entrance holes highly visible. And in between the two by four there's about two and a half inch gap. So they're going to have about two, two and a half inches of air time there. And I'm going to fire off a round, and then I'm going to switch it and fire off a single round into my target, man target, and see what kind of accuracy I get. I'm going to be firing from five yards. This point at the table where my muzzle will be is five yards from these targets. And let's have a little bit closer look at this ammo that I'm going to be using before I fire it. Now I did a lot of research on these rounds. I don't have my own chronograph. I should get one soon, but two different sources on most of these. Uh, this first one is the 22 Magnum Maxi Mag plus V. The actual round tested from North American Arms was not that exact round. It was a CCI Maxi Mag plus V, something like that. It was the exact same round, both rated at 2200 feet per second. The average velocity in this NAA Mini, one and one inch, inch barrel, is 1113 feet per second. 83 foot pounds of energy. Not bad. Now, the Maxi Mag fired from this exact revolver, 40 grains, average of 819 feet per second or 60 foot-pounds of energy. Now we're going on to the CCI Velocitor 40 grain. This was tested by ballistics by the inch and North American arms, but it was tested out of the 22 long rifle only version. So what you got there is you got the same barrel length but slightly shorter cylinder in the long rifle only version. So if anything we'll get a little bit of increase in velocity with the 22 long rifles through this. Um, ballistics by the inch had this at 767 feet per second and 769 by North American Arms. Only a difference of two feet per second by two different sources. So that's a pretty accurate reading. So that's uh, 52 foot pounds of energy. That's not a bad round. Now we got the mini mags. Ballistics by the inch, 723. North American Arms, only 696. Average of 709 feet per second or 45 foot pounds energy average out of the long rifle. Now the 22 long was also fired out of the 22 long rifle version. Um, ballistics by the inch 736, North American Arms 746. So an average of 741 or 35 foot pounds of energy with the 22 long through the 22 long mi uh, mini revolver. The 22 short couldn't get much information on that. What I have here is actually CCI short rated at 1080 feet per second. Closest I could come up with was the Super X Winchester Super X. That's right on ballist on the um, North American Arms website. They rate that at 702 feet per second so I'm guessing it's gonna be about the same if not a little bit more because it is a little bit longer cylinder 32 foot-pounds of energy so got 83 foot-pounds 60 foot-pounds 52 45 35 32 I'm gonna go from most powerful to least powerful and see what I get I'm gonna start with the magnum so here we go I'm gonna fire a single shot through the plywood take a turn fire a center mass shot I'm going to go up and mark each round, come back and look at the results when I'm done. First up is the Hornady Maxi Mag plus V. Here we go.
Next up is the CCI Maxi Mag 40 grain Magnum. Okay, I had a little bit of a blonde moment. Kept having misfires. I didn't realize I was trying to fire the 22 long rifle through the Magnum cylinder. I thought I switched them. So next up is the Velocitor. 40 grain 22 long rifle Velocitor. Next up is the CCI Mini Mag 40 grain 22 long rifle. Next I have the CCI Long 29 grain. Last up it's the CCI Short 29 grain. I'm going to fire another short at the paper. I think I hit through exactly another bullet hole. I can't see where I hit with this. Let's take a look and see what we got up here. Let's get this out of the way. All these shots are alright. The only one that's off on this 9 ring is that Maxi Mag 40 grain. The closest to the center was the, was the Hornady 30 grain plus V. That's the one I do carry. Velocitor, about the same. Mini Mag. Long, short, all pretty reasonably accurate. So, not bad. Let's take a look at the wood. Here's all the hits on the wood. That X right there is a tumbling round that didn't even pass through, I don't think, because that's when I fired a CCI long rifle through the magnum cylinder accidentally. Um, but the rest of them are good hits. All look pretty much the same. I think you'll be surprised by the rear here, though. Everything passed through. Everything. Long. Short. 40 grain mini mag. 40 grain maxi mag. Hornady 30 grain. And the Velocitor. I'm going to pop these things out. We'll take a look. Here's the back side. Here's the long. Here's the short. Short has a bigger hole than the long. Here is the round that, that I accidentally fired. That velocitor. And here, here's the bullet. It didn't even make it through one. So don't shoot long rifles through magnums in case they suck. And all it did was dented the back side of that. So there's the mini mag up here. Again, the biggest hole through that. And then the uh, maxi mag, magnum. The velocitor, that's pretty good. And then the Hornady plus V, just zipped right through. So, again, other than that weird one there, I would say that the. Uh, the, the standard mini mag has got the most damage. There's the entrance on the second board. And what we got up here, Hornady Blast V, that barely just zipped right through it. It, came, it doesn't even look like a hole. The Velocitor, the mini mag, CCI Maxi Mag 40 grain. Two magnums barely did anything because they were zipping through so quick. Down here, the 22 short and the 22 long. Looks like the short was starting to tumble a little bit. That's why we got the uh, little bit of ripping out here. But this is through a full inch. I think it, they both passed right through. So let's get on to the water jump test. Okay, first up is the Hornady Plus V Magnum.
Here we go. Jug three. Actually looks like it um it almost exited jug three. There's a dent in the back of it and jug four actually has a little bit of a uh, I think it's leaking a little. Not quite, not quite. It almost made it into jug four. Jug three, this is what I got. Little bullet. No expansion, no nothing, just a little bullet. A little 30 grain <laughs> bullet, that's pretty cool. All right, here's the 40 grain CCI Maxi Mag 22 Magnum. One, two, three, four. There she be, jug four. So, what's half expecting that anyways? A little bit heavier bullet. We got the same thing we got with that little V Max bullet. Perfectly intact to jug four. All right, now I'm on to the 22 long rifle. Velocitor. 40 grain. It is a hollow point, but I don't expect that to really do anything to it. Oh. <laughs> One, two, three. And what do we got here? Fourth jug has a little tiny slice in it. That means this thing tumbled pretty bad. It tumbled and went out. I don't have the bullet. All right here's the 40 grain CCI Mini Mag 22 long rifle. One, two, three. We got here, we got a hole in the back of jug three, almost passed right through it, but it's in three. And the mini mag, just like the rest of them, still intact. However, there is exposed lead on the, on the long rifle, as where the magnums had more of a real jacket on them. Only difference though. All right, moving along. Now I got the 29 grain CCI 22 long. I'm really interested in what this will do because it's it's as fast as the long rifle, but a lighter bullet. So I'm not sure what that will do. Here we go. Not as much energy I transfer on that one. One, two. Three, got a hole in three. No bullet. Got here four, no. Yep. Jug three, just like the rest of them. Got a little tiny bullet, that's cute. <laughs> Third jug, just like the several other ones. So now, last but not least, actually it is least. The 22 short, let's see what we get with that. All right, the 22 short. I'd like to think it would pass through more because it's moving a little bit slower, but I don't think it's much different than that long. So I'm guessing it's probably gonna do about the same thing, but who knows? Well, 22 short. Knock the jug off. One, two, three. Here we go. Three. Difference with this though, jug one hit pretty centered. Jug two is going down a little bit lower. Exit at the bottom of jug two. Entered the very bottom of jug three. So, unlike the rest, it appears that they're tumbling a little bit. 
for shorts. And that's the exact same bullet as the 22 long. Missing a lot more copper, but there it is. So there you go. And what I've learned in this test is there's a quite a bit less difference in these ammunitions than what I would have thought. Pretty much everything you fire through this does about the same thing as far as short, long, long rifle. Magnum. Magnum does go through a little bit more material, but that's about it. So, my thought is don't stress on what you shoot through it. Shoot, shoot what shoots accurately with it. And you should be good. So, there it is. North American Arms with every caliber it can fire. So, thanks for watching. I gotta be 18 years old to buy a can of paint at Walmart. And when you're 37 years old, they still ask you, do you have your ID? Why? Why? What was I saying again? I can't remember.